and welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. There's no Fiber of the Week this week, so I'm going to explain why there's not a Fiber of the Week this week. And my, my Fiber blogging schedule was a little bit thrown off by the fact that all eight of my bunnies have decided, hey, we want to lose our coats right now, so I've been spending a lot of time out in the bunny barn. So that's what I've been posting about. And if all of you saw Ray's sweater this week, yeah, that was a spur-of-the-moment sweater, the amazing three-hour bunny sweater. But I was going to show you a little bit about bunny fiber and the different ways that you can get it. Now, I've got, let me put this one aside real quick. I'm hoping this will show up good on the camera because it is a colored fiber. This is some of Ray's fiber. Or no, this is Teddy's fiber, not Ray's. Ray's right there, says Teddy. I have bunches of these little containers and some somewhat larger containers that I collect the fiber in. And this is a clipped fiber. Now, I don't clip, I, as a rule, I don't clip in the winter unless I have to because I like to leave the bunnies with something a bit longer because it is winter. And I clip during the summer to keep them cool. So this is raised clip fiber, and as you can see, it has like a four to five inch staple. I mean, it's a, it's a nice fiber. And to tell you the truth though, clipped fiber is not my favorite to spin. And this is what they call prime fiber. So it's the fiber that came off his back and the sides because the stuff on the stomach and the legs, of course, is shorter. But this is not my favorite fiber to spin, and I will tell you why. As you're spinning along and you're drafting it, you end up with these little ends sticking out a lot of times. And I just don't like that in my yarn sometimes, depending on, if, especially if I'm trying to spin a really smooth yarn. I don't find this to be my best option. Somebody else might, but it just doesn't work for me quite as well. So that is prime fiber off Teddy Bear. And I'm going to show you some other fiber and the ways to get it as well. I'm going to show you some, set this to the side down here, I guess. And this is more clipped, and this is off of Ray, who we talked about this week, who got the lovely sweater. And he's got a lovely white fiber. And his is a little bit shorter, but he's very dense because he's a full English Angora. If you look at him wrong, he will mat up. <laughs> well, not, not quite as true as this with some of the other boys, but... Full Englishes have a tendency to mat a little bit more. Now this is plucked fiber. And the difference with plucked fiber is you get a whole fiber. The full length of the fiber. Now this is about six inches long. This is off of Little Girl. Because she grows a really nice coat and stays pretty much matte free. So I can let her grow for a while. And the difference with plucked fiber is you don't have that clipped end. This is really nice to spin with but still not my favorite way to spin it. But this is some very nice plucked, and I love her fiber, and this fiber is for sale on the site. It's under fawn, I believe, because she is a fawn-colored angora. There you go. Have a look-see. And she grows a really nice coat. She is a part French and part English angora. But the last one I'm going to show you is my favorite one to spin. And that, again, that's prime off her back and sides. This looks a little messy, and it, it, it has been sitting for a little bit, so it kind of compacted down a little. But what this is, is this is combed. This is what comes out sometimes when I'm combing them before I start plucking. And I love to spin this because it's already kind of meshed together a little bit, almost carded, you could say. And it just pulls and drafts and spins really nice and really smooth. And sometimes, you know, there's little nips in it or whatnot, but this is my favorite to spin. My absolute favorite. It's still full length fiber, just like the plucked, but it's just, it got caught around the tines of the comb and it just goes. And it's, it's quite beautiful and I love to spin this. I find this the easiest of the three to spin. And I often put this in my bats and sell the prime as is. Because I get a lot more of this than I do prime. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of Angora back there. And more out in the barn because they're blowing their coats at this point. 
I'm sorry, I've been really thirsty today, and my mouth has been really dry, so I'm going to be sipping on my tea, which I have a tea fetish during this episode, probably. Now, on to my knitting. Color Affection Shawl. I have made some great progress on the Color Affection Shawl. I even had to put it on a larger needle, and it's still scrunched up a little bit. But I've come to a conundrum, and I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this, because I literally spun and dyed this yarn up specifically for this project, specifically the yardage needed, and I've got way too much. I'm almost finished where my stripes are supposed to end, and I'm supposed to start on the edging. But I'm considering taking it a bit longer, because this is the first color. This is the dark brown that I started out with. And look how much of it I still have left. I was just considering doing the, the three stripes until I run out of the first color. What do you guys think of that? It would probably actually run the stripes all the way across to have about 80 stitches that have not been picked up yet. And you hear Aussie in the background playing, Aussie, really? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> anyway, um... I'd like to hear your thoughts on this because I notice when you get up to the amount of stripes you're supposed to have, it, it doesn't go all the way across. So mine would go all the way across to maybe a couple rows extra depending on how quickly the rest of this gets eaten up. So I would like to hear your thoughts on that because I did spin this specifically for this project and I would like to see it, I would like to see it a little wider too. It just seems a little small that way and the ones they show in the pictures are like and maybe that will change with blocking too but maybe just a little bit more I want it to be kind of like a big old wrap I can wrap it around me twice or something so I am looking forward to getting this done I didn't get it done this week like I was hoping because there was actually a lot more knitting to do than what I had imagined and I have so much yarn left there's my brown ball that's now turning orange there's my gray ball that I've been using, and here's my blue one. I have a lot left, so I'm thinking thinking about just keep on going with it until I run out of the first color, and then I'll go ahead and put the edging on with this. So let me know what you think about that. And now, I did make myself a little list today because I'm really that kind of girl, at least, you know, an outline to jump off of. Um... I am proud to say my ad was accepted by American Express for Small Business Saturday, and they'll be running my ad. And I've been tweeting about this and um, Facebooking about it and Google Plusing and whatever else. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you at this point. But um, Small Business Saturday is the Saturday in between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And... Is to make people aware of small businesses and to to buy from local and small businesses. I'm going to be running the special, and I think the special I'm going to run is anybody who buys blog bats is going to get a discount on their order. I believe that's what I'm going to do because I have a lot of blog bats in stock right now, and I need to clear some out so I can make some more. So that's what I will be doing for Small Business Saturday, and I try to do everything as local as possible here that I can or work with other rescues which I do as well I have a friend down in Pennsylvania who runs Fairy Tale Farms in Ottsville Pennsylvania and she runs off donations I will put a link at the bottom of this post um, Sandy hit them really hard so I've been trying to do a few things to kind of help them out a little bit um, they need fences mended, and they need donations, definitely. And just different things to help them get back up on their feet. They, I believe they do have running water at the barn again. She was toting water, I believe. Um, she's got electricity at her house. I don't think there's electricity at the barn yet. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I haven't heard from Linda in a couple of days. Very sweet woman. Um, an alpaca rescue I work with a lot. As I only have two alpacas now and have two colors available, I support her rescue, and she helps me get colors that I don't have here. 
So if you want to check them out, you can check them out on Facebook at Fairy Tale Farm. And like I said, I will put a link to them at the bottom of this post. And if you want to give them a donation, I believe they have a page at GoFundMe that you can get to from the Facebook page. But I will see if I can get a link to that for you as well. And I think that's all I have for this week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week.